Hello, everyone. Why am I holding a gun, you ask? It's because every weapon prior to the filming of the Smoky Mountain Gun Show has been safety checked. Enjoy the show and have a very nice day. Hello YouTubers, Daniel here for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show, and I'm back to do another Smoky Mountain Gun Show review. On this episode, I'm going to be featuring a weapon that I have thought extensively about buying. Finally got around to buying it. With that being said, I'll go ahead and get started here. I am featuring my High Point 995TS 9mm carbine. Go ahead and do a safety check here. Show you guys there are no rounds in the weapon. The weapon is all clear. A little bit about the history of this weapon was first designed in 1994, developed in 1994, under the now-lifted Federal Assault Weapons Ban. Uh, really first marketed for civilian use, although surprisingly enough, a lot of police units that weren't able to afford ARs or you know high-dollar assault rifles equipped their officers with this weapon and uh, they used it to good, to good effect. Uh, this gun has really been uh, a good uh, in good use for a camp gun or something you'd take hiking with you if you didn't want to take a handgun or, or something like that. You need a little bit more uh, reach to it, a little bit more velocity. Uh, this thing would be good. Uh, also, something you can throw in the back seat of your car, trunk of your car, your truck bed, behind your truck seat. This would be perfect. Truck gun, something to beat around and take with you. It's lightweight, throw a sling on. I mean, it's it's very light and extremely transportable. Um, also, this thing is a shooter for sure. Uh, plinker all the way. You can take this thing out and shoot it. 9mm ain't too expensive to shoot. It ain't like the 45 ACP. Um, but this thing, I did buy it to shoot with, so uh, this thing would be an awesome, is an awesome plinker. Uh, a little bit more uh, thump than a 22, um, but uh, not as much as a 308. You know, it, it's tons of fun to shoot. Um, high points do test high as far as consumer reports. Uh, testing on these weapons, these things test extreme, uh, very good, very well. These things do very well in their testing. Also, gun digest testing, uh, they do very well in that as well. Um, this thing right here, people has referred to it as the poor man's AR, which I don't, uh, I'm not going to bash anybody or anything. I'm not really putting anybody down, but this thing is, it isn't an AR at all. Uh, even though it does look kind of AR-ish, you know, assault rifle, assault rifle-ish, all it is is just a handgun caliber carbine with just this tactical looking stock on it. Uh, simple blowback design. It, it isn't gas operated, just simple blowback design. Um, you know, you don't really have to clean this thing a lot either. You can you can shoot it and keep shooting it and not really have to clean it as much, although I do recommend cleaning your firearms regularly. Um, and with that being said, it is simple blowback design. This thing has a 16 and a half inch barrel, 10 round detachable uh, single stack magazine. Um, weighs between 3 and 5 pounds. Uh, muzzle velocity of a little bit over 1,200 feet per second. This thing is a mean little shooter. I really, really like this gun. Uh, this is not, uh, this is the 995 TS, which TS stands for tactical stock. Of course, you can see this thing is a little bit different than the 995 Classic. For those of you who haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and show you a picture of it right now. Fugly. And as you can see, they have made some improvements as far as the overall design of the weapon, and I think they did a really good job of doing that. Uh, and in my opinion, uh, this weapon here aesthetically looks mean. It is a mean-looking little weapon. I really, I really like the way this looks. I don't like the 995 Classic and the way it looks. I like the way this thing looks. Uh, as far as shooting this thing, I can get on target with this thing, shoot really nice groups with this thing. Uh, I'll tell you more about it in my range review, but as far as aesthetically, I can get a good purchase on this weapon with the foregrip, without the foregrip. Uh, the sights has a ghost ring sight, front hooded sight. Sight system's on point, um, just extreme shootability. This thing is a shooter for sure, and that's why I bought it. I wanted to shoot. Uh, you know, and another thing too, the the compatibility. Uh, I can shoot my Glock, go buy a big box of nine millimeter, shoot my Glock, 
uh, load this thing up and shoot it too. I don't have to buy a bunch of different kinds of ammo. That's another plus for me buying this. And if you do buy one, make sure you get the 9mm because I think 9mm cartridge would be the best as far as these carbines. You know, 45 would be okay. There's some thump to it. 40 would be okay. But uh, I think 9mm is the best cartridge as far as out of these carbines. Um, so, with that being said, we'll get to the up-close specifics of the weapon, and uh, then we'll take it down to the range and uh, give you a little bit of my opinion on the range review. Okay, up-close specifics on the 995TS here, uh, high point 995TS. Start with the back. Of course, you can see here you have a recoil buffer, a uh, built-in recoil buffer. Pretty cool. Uh, really not necessary for this weapon, but it's kind of cool. Got your skeletonized stock. Um, awesome. I'm glad this was a feature they incorporated on this weapon. Makes it look a lot more meaner. Um, here's the cheek rest. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but if uh, watch, uh, keep watching. Look at my range review, and I'll show you what's going on with that. Uh, take down pins here. Uh, you got one on the the front and the back. Um, kind of easy, but this thing is kind of a pain to break down. Uh, not too difficult, but not as easy as a Glock. <laughs> but uh, here's your safety. You know your simple uh, on-off safety. Just, I mean, just like the pistols, these safeties are just the same as high point pistols. Here's your grip, nice thick grip, uh, enough to fit a double stack magazine in there, but they still went with the single stack. I believe they went with the single stack, so they don't have to uh, get a whole new set of dies and tooling to make double stack magazines. So just go ahead and save money and continue to make single stacks. Uh, here's your bolt handle, which can be transferred to either side. I think that's cool, but I, I'll leave it on. Uh, it's a lot easier. I'm right-handed, uh, and I was like, well, when I get this thing, I'm going to put it on the right side. But, uh, you know, it's a lot easier for it, uh, for me, it being on the left side as far as uh, charging the weapon. Um, right here you see high point 995, model 995, high point by B. Miller. Um, here is your sight system. You got your ghost ring. Uh, well, if I get the camera over here. You got your uh, rear ghost ring sights and your front hooded sights. So that's a, a nice sight system. I really am a fan of that sight system on weapons. Your trigger here, uh, they do make some aftermarket triggers, aluminum aftermarket triggers. Thought about buying one, but I'm just going to see how this one uh, functions for me. Uh, just your standard little high point trigger system. Um, rail, here's your top rail. You can match your sights on it uh, if you want. Um, here's your bottom rail. Okay, got your little bottom rail here. Here's the foregrip. This is the, uh, the stock high point foregrip. Your tool is in here. You just turn, turn that little lever. Your tool's in there. Um, and here's your... Uh, Here's a rail here. You can mount stuff up here, I believe. Um, down here, your uh, barrel rail. You can mount you a flashlight or your laser on this thing right here if you want to. Uh, front hooded sight. Um, so that's pretty much it. That is the up close specifics of the High Point 995TS. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and take you down. To the range Daniel here from Smoky Mountain Gun Show brought down the High Point 995 TS 9mm carbine. First test, see how this baby does. Alright, ready to rock. This is the first shot uh, coming out of this gun. Reloaded. I'm going to try it without the foregrip now. Got some bottles here. Let's get them bastards. Uh. Alright, we're back. Another reload. Rock and roll. Okay, all right, my impressions of the carbine 
5.995 TS so far is awesome. I love the way this thing shoots. A little gripe I got, if you can see how red my cheek is right here. This thing's kind of a little bit uncomfortable as far as uh, the cheek rest and stuff. It's, uh, it's a little bit harsh. Uh, I don't like that it's a single stack 10 round magazine. If I had multiple magazines, it wouldn't be a deal, a big deal. I'd need about five magazines to actually sit and have fun with it. But, you know, pausing and reloading is okay. Uh, I can deal with that. It shoots wonderful. Um, I mean, the grouping I got over there is awesome. Here's the grouping. That's probably about a two inch group, um, give or take, two, two and a half, from about, uh, I'd say about 12 yards. Uh, so it's not bad at all. Uh, really, that gun is meant for up close anyway, so uh, pretty good grouping. And I wasn't aiming at the bullseye. It didn't shoot low or nothing. I just shot low down here. Because um, I planned on doing a lot of sets of groups, but I just decided to hit this same grouping. Uh, and as you can see, beer bottles are busted. Uh, this thing hits on target. That was actually the very first shots uh, that I've taken with this gun right there. I mean, I, hadn't, I didn't do any practice with it. I just turned the camera on and started shooting. I like shooting with the foregrip, um, and, and also you, I like shooting like this, uh, but the foregrip feels good on this little short rifle. Um, not a lot of recoil at all, but it actually, it, but it's better than a 22. You feel like you're actually shooting something. Um, overall, I'm super happy with this gun. Uh, you know, like I said, I was going to get the kel Sub-2000, but I decided to get this bad boy, and I'm so glad I did. I'm, I'm not looking back on this gun. This gun gets a A plus for me, um, as far as shootability, uh, fun, function. Uh, a lot of people say this is an ugly gun. I think it kind of looks awesome. Um, but uh, anyway, for the money, you can't beat these things. Uh, I would seriously recommend these. If anybody's out there thinking about buying one of these bikes. Um, you know, it took me a while to come around to it, but I finally bought one. McLevain Gun Nut, you said you was wanting to, you was looking at one. I'm telling you, buddy, go find you one. Uh, don't get the 995 Classic. There's a, uh, for one, they look like a Planet of the Apes gun, and for two, I don't think uh, they're as good as these. Um, but anyway, this has been Daniel for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. Carry on the Second Amendment rights bestowed upon us all. And as always, you guys have a very nice day.